Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Daily Stock Signals video for Thursday the 13th of December where I choose one of many types of signals. This Today is coming from our Stock Signals membership for our fifth wave trades uh, where we have potential long and short fifth wave trades on the daily, the weekly and the 60 minute time frames. So as you can see here on the long fifth waves, our members would cl simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. I'm going for shorts today. So in the shorts area, click on the spreadsheet, download it uh, on the image. And then this is the spreadsheet for today. Um, you can see at the bottom, we've got the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly. On the 60 minute time frame, comes concentrate on today. There is a lot of potential shorts there today. Uh, so let's just look at one of those. I'm looking at Lulu on the hourly on the 60 minute as i said i'm using the think or swim elliott wave indicator suite from tradefifth.com to put this together it's also available for multi charts ninja trader and trade station so first of all we've got these highs back here and we've got the wave count then for the one the two the really long and windy wave three which can happen uh, and then we've had a pullback against there and it's that's important that's the bit we, we we're going to measure here and get our entry and everything like that so let's just zoom in on this and talk about that so our stock scanner membership first of all has a few filters and uh, the first filter is that the wave four pullback has pulled back into one of our automated uh, probability zones here and it's pulled back into the green zone it's also found resistance in our uh, w5t ema cloud as well uh, so the green zone represents an 85 percent probability if it finds resistance here it's going to go on and make that new wave low into our automated target zone here around about 10870 something like that the next is the behavior of this wave four so this is the 535 oscillator the top of the three sub charts here uh, this pulls back it's pulled back between 90 and 140 percent during this wave four of the highest point in the wave three so that's a really good sign the next sign is this false breakout indicator on our stochastic denoting a strong bearish trend and then when the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over in the overbought zone there's a big likelihood it's going to come back down and join the main trend again um, so there's the main three filters Entry is very, very simple. Once we've had a pullback against the main trend here, stop loss just above the wave four. So 123.64 is the stop loss. Entry for me has to be below the 6.4 moving average low, which is part of our, indi our indicator suite. Um, but also, I've got to go below the low of yesterday and close that gap a little bit. So I've gone for 117.90. It's below that whole $118 level as well. So we're quite conservative on that entry. But that still gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our automated target zone there. So really, we've got that conservative entry just to make sure that those highs have been found and it starts to move away. Again, I don't know what's going to happen. It just could open and go higher, in which case the trade is off. It's not on. But if we do gap down and start to move down and come through 117.90, this is a good, strong, high probability swing trade um, to trade that fifth wave. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.